This is a really big, ginormous cloche. I am headed on a girl's road trip to Southern California to an open air flea market to do some thrifting. I noticed one morning that Liz over on Instagram was going to be signing her book. And I thought, what a fun trip to do some thrifting, see Liz, get the book signed. So I'm packing and it is going to be a fun thrifting vlog. I was ready and waiting when Titus pulled up from work. He loaded my bags, told me to have a fun trip and enjoy myself. And we went to Trent's house and we grabbed her bags. And then we headed to Darian's house and the trip is officially beginning. We all enjoy Starbucks very much. So we grabbed a couple Starbucks and I believe some of us even grabbed some food. And this trip is about a four and a half to five hour trip one way. So we headed off and we finally reached our destination and we were hungry. So we stopped by In-N-Out and grabbed a bite to eat. And then we headed to the hotel to unload, freshen up, change our clothes. And we grabbed our books and we are so excited to have our book signed by Liz and what a fun experience. hotel was right around the corner from the airport and as we were standing in line the lady who puts this event on by herself said hi gave us our little tickets in and I wish you guys could meet her she is genuinely nice we made it inside and it was the perfect amount of booths it wasn't so big that you just feel overwhelmed it was just perfect and I am excited to share with you the different ideas people have, different pieces of furniture, different prices and I, you just see things and you automatically just, I want to buy that. But I kind of wanted to wait and see what everyone had. I think we shopped about an hour before we had to get in line to see Liz and that line kind of went slow to get the book signed and so we're just shopping and taking the sights. I wish you could hear the sounds and it was just, it was a fun, fun night. Even if when you go to flea markets or estate sales, even antique stores, if you don't buy anything, you come away with good ideas. I noticed several little vignettes that you can just tuck away in the back of your mind 
And then when you find those certain items, you can pull that out of your little pocket and decorate. And so it's really fun just to grab ideas and take in texture, take in different fabrics, just all kinds of things. Darian and I both noticed these bells and they were just so pretty. You know, just sitting on a coffee table, you could really place them anywhere. However, I don't think they were vintage, but they were still beautiful. Right away, Daring and I both noticed this type of greenhouse. I know I'm not saying it right, but it already had a sold tag on it. And we both said, I bet Liz purchased this. And isn't it stunning? I mean, you could just put that in the entryway and basically call it good. Literally beautiful. Sometimes when I'm filming, I don't take in all the decor items. It will go unnoticed by my eye just because I'm so focused on filming. But this pedestal base and the cloche sitting on top caught my eye. And I thought this would be so beautiful sitting on my coffee table in my living room. I think they're so beautiful. They were about 105 for the set. These were vintage cutting boards and I actually forgot about those cutting boards. That's the problem. You go to a booth and you see an item and you're like, well, I'll come back. But if you're like me, I forgot. I didn't even go back to look at those. I really like the one with the bronze on it. But I guess I can tuck that away in the back of my mind and try to find it at another flea market or an antique store. So just something to look for. These tables caught my eye. I thought they would make a lovely coffee table. This wicker trunk is very large in person. It doesn't appear on camera as big as it is. It was stunning. A very narrow, flat wicker basket caught my eye and it had leather straps and Darian opened it up and it appeared to be a laundry hamper. And that's the problem. When you're shopping at booths like this, it's usually one item, right? And I wanted to buy it, and I actually could kick myself for not purchasing this. Titus 
likes a laundry hamper in the bathroom. And I thought, well, I'll come back, see if they still have it. And they did not have it. It sold. So some lucky lady got a beautiful laundry hamper. And I guess I'm slightly like, oh, I should have bought it. But that's the deal when you go thrifting at a flea market. You honestly should just pick it up if you want to purchase it as soon as you see it. Darian thought these might be vintage duck decoys, and she was correct. And she also said these would be super cute in your flower bed, and I have to agree. They would be so cottagey, I think. We are more towards the back of the booths. We are inside the hangar, and there were so many pretty booths and so many pretty items. Oh, my word. It's not like you were overwhelmed because there were so many booths. It's there's so many items to look at. And I am just trying to take it all in. And so many pieces were catching my eye. That wasn't the problem. The problem is weeding out what you don't need or what you really don't want. I have a small obsession with vintage clocks. I love them. And Trin and Darian like them too. I believe Trin picked up a beautiful black round clock that when I see it in her home, I'm probably going to be like, oh, Trin, it is beautiful. And there was several vintage clocks here at this flea market. We were shopping and turned the corner and there was Liz and her husband talking with a couple ladies. We obviously did not interrupt, but it was just fun to see her, you know, before the book signing. It's time for the book signing and we are in line. And as I'm standing in line, a subscriber comes up, introduces herself. She was super sweet and just encouraged me to keep going in my channel. And I really appreciate her kind spirit and her super kind words. And since I have a terrible memory with names, I can't remember her name, so I apologize for that. But it was so nice to meet you and thank you for the encouragement. It's our turn to see Liz and we're all excited and I cannot tell you how sweet she was and her husband. I'm talking just down to earth and so relatable and what a fun experience. And it was super nice of her to take the time to sign our books and just say hi. And it is a beautiful memory. We are headed out. We grabbed some dinner at Cracker Barrel, and now it's time to go home and show you the haul. And I cannot wait to show you what I purchased. back and I was super duper stoked to uh, see Liz in person and you guys she is the sweetest most down-to-earth person and her husband as well I I just loved them and it was almost surreal just to meet them and um, get my book signed so much fun it was a fun trip 
don't forget, this is the first part of that trip. And I hope my cloche isn't broke. I haven't opened my cloche since I bought it. Um, this is the first part of that trip. And I am going to be editing the second part. I had so much footage. Sorry, I'm trying to open this. That I had to make it into two parts. So don't forget. And don't forget at the end, I'm going to be decorating with some of my finds. I bought one item the first day at the flea market, and then um, the rest of these items are from the thrift store, and from my sister, and then from Target. So quite a big haul. All right. Let me move my box. All right. I purchased, let me grab the bottom. Well, I'll just show you this one. This big, big cloche. And for reference, I'm going to show you my hand. Really, really, really big. Nice, big, rounded top. And the base is really thick. I don't know if you can tell. Really big. I paid 60 for this. And then the base is so beautiful. I'm going to show you up close. So it has a lot of black in it. The top is really raw with almost a burnt look. I'm wondering if they burnt this. I think this was burnt, like torched. So the base was 45. Isn't that pretty? So this is a really big ginormous cloche. Um, it's gonna be a nice statement piece on my coffee table and I'm fixing to film my decorate with me in the bathroom. So. Moving on to the living room, and this is going in my living room. I'm gonna give you some more detail. Absolutely beautiful. That was the one item I bought the first day of the flea market. It wasn't so big that you were like really overwhelmed, but yet on the other hand, there was so much stuff, you did feel a little bit overwhelmed and you didn't really know what to purchase. Um, I bought one item that day, which was about, um, I believe it was 110 for the entire set for the cloche. My sister thrifted these for me for $4.99 each. And they are artichokes. They are really big. This is my hand. So you can see how big they are. She thrifted two of these for me. And um, I haven't decided if I'm going to leave them this color. I'm just gonna show you one. So really, really pretty, kind of a pretty patina, some green in there. Um, one of them was heavier than the other. Um, I like them. These are going to go in my living room somewhere. Um, they're beautiful. So I have two of them. She paid $10 or yeah, $10 for the set. Okay. My target haul. I wanted to show you guys because I'm kind of funny about my plants. Let me scoot over so you can see. This plant is so realistic and so beautiful and just really fresh. As you can see, I have it right up there on my dresser and I bought another one for my living room. Um, very airy. I loved it. Um, I'm gonna have to pop, oh. $20, right here's the price. I don't know if you can see that, but $20 is a really good deal. This is gonna go in my living room as well, or my kitchen. You guys know I just stack and hoard things until I get to a room. Once I decorate, I clear out, and I get rid of everything that I thought I was gonna use and I didn't end up using. Okay, I thrifted this beautiful pillow, which I'll be styling at the end. I paid one dollar for it it is really big and really beautiful so i'm going to show you how big it is first pretty big and that's the detail so it kind of has this little braided look coming along the top and i'm going to add this to my bed and um, i already put it on there to see if i liked it and i liked it so i'm going to show you guys what it looks like on the bed and that's it. This was $1. This was at my local habitat on a kind of um, 
older looking couch and I was like, huh, well for a dollar it might work and it totally worked. So that's my haul. Such a fun thrift vlog. I loved it. It was so much fun um, being with my mother-in-law and my two sister-in-laws and Darian, Trin, and my mother-in-law were super sweet to let me film and vlog on this thrift excursion down in Southern California and oh, what a fun trip. Don't forget this is part one and I will have the second part um, right after this video and you can see what else I bought on the second day. So that was a pretty big item. I, we barely got it home. So they were a good sport to let me cram it in there. So I appreciate that. All right. That's my haul. I'm going to get this pillow styled on my bed and show you. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys on the next video. I want to remind you guys that this is part one of our flea market road trip to Southern California. Be on the lookout next week for the second part and I have some beautiful items to show you there at the flea market and then I will bring you home and show you what I purchased on the second day. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and always the sweet comments and the encouragement and I will see you guys on the next video.